here we go. This is just step one, browning the turkey. Ooh, ooh, oh my gosh. It's the first turkey I've ever made. I'm kind of excited. Oh, oh, just look at that fucker. Just look at it. Ooh. Look, okay. We got the leftover turkey there and there. And we got cranberry sauce and gravy and stuffing and green beans and mashed potatoes. Basically, leftovers for days. Yep. He wants to know if I'm going to give him any more turkey. Because I gave both of them a little bit of turkey already. You guys aren't going to get more just because you asked for it. I don't think he believes me. It's bath time. <laughs> Cats love toes for some reason. I don't know why. Seeing as I'm working on Thursday, I had my Thanksgiving today. Today's the only day I have off work this week, so I planned an early Thanksgiving and it was fun. And I made a turkey for the first time by myself, roasted it whole, and it came out so juicy and delicious. Thank you, Alton Brown, for my life skills that I now have. I bought the turkey last night because I was at work and I remembered that I last minute planned to have Thanksgiving today and due to the plans being last minute my shopping was also last minute and it was a frozen turkey and the only turkeys we had left at work were the 20 pound ones. Of course if Fred Meyer had been open an hour later I could have gotten a smaller turkey but no. I got off work at 11 and everywhere else was closed and so I took my 20 pound turkey home and I put it in the bathtub in some cold water and let it thaw out overnight because thawing it out in the fridge was not going to work. I would need four days for that and I didn't have four days. So I thawed it overnight and I was worried that it might still be frozen in the middle by the time it was done cooking but thankfully it wasn't because when I got up I took the turkey out and I put it in a brine solution. The only container I had that was big enough for this enormous turkey was the soup pot and even that the turkey like was too tall for it. So I turned the turkey over halfway through, and mind you, this is a 20 pound turkey in a soup pot, and I had to reach my entire arm in, so my arm is up to the elbow in the soup pot, and I'm hauling this turkey up, and it's slippery, and I flipped it around, put it back in. Of course, taking it out at the end of the brining process was also a hassle. But anyway, so I lift this 20 pound turkey out of the soup pot, and put it in the roasting pan in a bed of vegetables the way Alton Brown does the chicken as opposed to he does it he does his turkey on a rack in the turkey videos but the chicken roast chicken was on a bed of vegetables and I liked that idea so I did it. it turned out pretty good super duper juicy god it was a good thanksgiving I'm proud of myself not gonna lie this is something I can brag about and next year maybe I can make another turkey that is just as good